Yeah, blindsided is the word one person used to describe this proposal process. Others tonight questioning its purpose and need on campus. The old well, an iconic and enduring symbol in the heart of UNC's campus, connecting generations of Tar Heels. And the faculty absolutely deserves the right to make decisions about what courses are taught here in the curriculum. That's always been the tradition. But that tradition evidently violated when university leadership and faculty members learned of a vote by the Board of Trustees to look into developing the School of Civic Life and Leadership. So you want to be at a place where you feel like you can have an influence in the organization and where your voice is valued. Board of Trustees Chair David Bolick wrote that the program would teach our students how to engage in civil discourse, debate, and public speaking, which are all vital skills for students regardless of their chosen profession. The skills and the ideas we're talking about aren't just political science. They're also communication skills. They're, in some ways, uh, you know, history and civics. In a university-wide email, Chancellor Kevin Guskowitz stressed that any proposed degree program or school will be developed and led by our faculty, deans, and provost. The chancellor's message, my understanding is he knew nothing about this either, um, and which is in itself just uh, gobsmacking. The board has one job. They're supposed to decide who the leader of the organization is, and then they're supposed to do everything they can to support that person. Uh, they did not do the latter in this case. The communication breakdown leading to further questions. Everybody's got to come together, trust one another, and make good decisions. And unfortunately, I think this is yet another example of the trust in our trustees being broken. Right alongside Nicole Hannah Jones, right alongside Silent Sam, right alongside a number of these other concerns. And tonight, questions still swirling about a potential timeline, future funding, scheduling, all the sorts of things necessary to launch a new school. Certainly, we'll be tracking those developments as they play out. To read Bullock's full statement, log into this story at abc11.com. From UNC at Chapel Hill, I'm Michael Porchik, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.